Thank you, Richard. A very good morning to one and all. My name is Deepak Yon. I'm pursuing third year computer science engineering in the prestigious institution, Loyola E. Camp College of Engineering and Technology. And this is my associate, Abhishek R. of the same department at college. What we are about to propose to you is my work and our work in this distinguished field of augmented reality technology project in our labs. They say it's not how far one can look into the future. The future is what in front of you. The future, my friends, is now. We are in a world of rapid technological advancements. In order to break the barrier, in order to sustain our field, and in order to grasp this technology and implement it into such a field of education, it's a tedious task in the sense that one has to endeavor in order to accomplish the need for it. In such an environment, I and Abhishek have incorporated such a reality, augmented reality. I would like now my associate Abhishek to entirely further into what augmented reality is all about and how the idea came about. Thank you. A very good morning to one and all present here. Augmented reality is an upcoming technology that digital content can be overlaid on any real time entity or object. Some of its common uses are consumer interactions, marketing, and then uh, print media. So, uh, some of the popular applications of augmented reality are the one done by President Barack Obama for, for his campaign, and then uh, Fort Figo. Fort Figo had, uh, Fort Figo was a new car released by Fort India, and it used augmented reality for its promotion. And uh, General Electric used, uh, uses augmented reality for uh, promoting several of its products, and so on. Some uh, augmented reality is implemented, can be implemented through a smartphone app or a web-based application. As you can see here, there's a mobile phone and a laptop. Now, if a user wants to uh, overlay a digital content over an object, the QR code will act as a real-time object. And now, we can use a picture of a rocket launching as a digital content. Now, if this QR code is scanned through a mobile phone's camera or a laptop's webcam, 3D image is going to be overlaid on the QR code. So now, let me enthrall your minds about what is augmented reality or what is augmented reality labs and how it was born. My associate, Deepak John, had, had developed a software called Clicker and uh, AR labs is based on Clicker. He had, he had made, presented a con, con, conference and project Clicker in uh, Munich, Germany for augmented reality enabled systems. Uh, as we know, the chemistry and physics uh, practicals in online university are conducted only once in two semesters. So it's often, usually the students tend to lag behind and even if they miss classes, uh, it's tough for them to manage, uh, manage the classes and the experiments. Hence, we, we have initiated AR labs for uh, physics laboratory and uh, it is, it is uh, initiated in association with our own uh, controller of examinations, Ms. Dr. Kallar Chandiraja. So now, uh, Deepak John will take on the stage and enthrall your minds about, uh, the, about AR labs. Thank you, Abhishek. So, <coughs> we have witnessed the origin and the birth of augmented reality technology and we have implemented it in augmented reality labs. But what does this comprise of? It comprises of two main components. A web-based application called the WebAR and a mobile-based application created for smartphones such as Android and iOS and Windows development is in progress. So what we're looking into here is a student will be able to have an existing observation that is such as this, which we at Loyal College have been followed. We will use this as a marker-based system. As Abhishek entered your minds earlier, there are two types of marker. Marker-based such as QR codes and markerless. We are incorporating markerless tracking in the sense that we will be using imagery and not some kind of black and white based code. So what in fact ha happens here is the model repository for the entire community is created in-house by headed by Abhishek R himself and the students such as you and me. So these are the features of augmented reality lab. We have incorporated image, image marker tra based tracking. We have incorporated a multi-tracker system. What does this mean it's basically when you look into a physics lab of, uh, observations and let's say you have another component of a physics lab observation, you can have your own entire practice such as a Vernier caliber included with another setup such as a traveling microscope. The two components can be overlaid in the same field. 
So we have support for the following formats of 3D modeling such as .opj, .fpx, .3ds max and .max. And we will have increased stability, increased stability and performance. Our future prospects is we'll be creating a web-based portal called projectarlabs.com where students can upload their own model repository and we will include that, include those repository models include in, into the project. The others include the engineering prototyping. In mechanical industry, prototyping plays a very key and vital play. What does this mean is, no one would want to venture out into establishing their model into reality due to the investment cost. But we are providing a platform where your 3D model can be brought into the real life world and scenarios. Now let's just expand your mind further on just a little short demo about Project AR Labs and what it actually does. So we have incorporated all the models using Google SketchUp software. So you will see here a traveling microscope with precision handling, with accurate dimensions and with enabled 3D modeling done by Abhishek Art and he has been headed this entire 3D modeling team with a few of our students have also helped us such as Mariavino Kumar of the third year CAC department have also helped us with a few of the models but he is heading the entire model repository so this is a traveling microscope as you would like to see over here the precision of this microscope is handled with the real time scenario we want the students to interact with the microscope as this actually does in the entire lab itself we are basically creating a smart class experience right at the convenience of the student hands So here you can with this, the precision modeling done for the starting microscope. And as we zoom out further and find out to witness the entire microscope, you will witness that even the telescope with every component of it has been made precise. We will let, let us now augment this entire microscope into the reality world. Here you see our physics manual observation. This is running the web AR platform. What does this mean is, in your Google Chrome browser, in any browser you own, when you go into the platform and your webcam starts, you will witness the entire 3D model in action. What you're witnessing right now is real-time interaction. You're not going to touch the model, you're not, you're, you're not going to feel the model, but what you can do is interact with it. You can view the microscope, you can zoom into it, you can go into dimensions and depth that you can actually do in the real-time world. And we are providing this right from our own resources for Project AR Labs. In a few moments, I will remove the marker away from the webcam and you will see that the model will disappear. But if you look closely, it takes two seconds to again retract the image and make the model appear again. So in a few moments, I will move the observation away from the camera. So here the marker is lost. And in two seconds, once it detects, the marker is back on. So this is image precision and this is image target recognition at a whole new level. This type of algorithm is not implemented in any of the scenarios. And we are also adding tutorial videos on how to make the project and how to make the experimental work. This is headed by Dr. Khaled Raj himself. So what we are witnessing here is the thought of video experiment made in tutorial versions so that the student will be able to recollect how to do the experiment. So here when Dr. Khaled sir would explain to you how to write the, of the values into the observation, we would immediately show a screenshot on where, be, where it's supposed to be written. Oh, great. 